All right, guys, welcome back. Davis Drives, Davis Auto Sales in Richmond, Virginia. So my main focus today was on this until I finally walked over here and my guys had had a whole bunch of different stuff laid out. But this crazy Bronco slash excursion custom thing has been getting a crazy amount of attention online. Um, and we did put it up for sale because of the fact we've got some upcoming events and we're really going hardcore with our square bodies. We know what we can do to this thing. We can make it look like our cool Suburban over there, which is getting some maintenance done so that it will be ready for one of the upcoming events. But this thing right here, we could make it just as cool and nasty, but we don't have the time. So without being stingy and without throwing in the back 40 with a hundred other vehicles, it is for sale. So if you go to our website, davisautosales.com or davis4x4.com, it is on there. But this is a five door. A lot of people have questioned that. It is barn doors in the back, just like the Suburban. It's a barn door rear. Bronco never came this way. Bronco only came with a tailgate. As far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a barn door rear truck. So one, two, three, four, and then the fifth door on this side, which is kind of cool. Most people don't know, but the early Suburbans were this way. The early Suburbans did not have a door on the left side either. One of the other things we did get completed since the last video, the headliner's done. And that was a treat because they never made a headliner for these. What we found out is these left the factory with no headliner or somebody glued carpet up there. So they had to custom do all that. We also had them reinforce the seats over time. The bottoms of the seats, believe it or not, it's like a, uh, the easiest way to relate to it is kind of like a metal fence, a piece of chain link fence underneath the bottom of a seat. And that's what you sit on. That's what gives you some cushion. It's actually kind of like a spring. It was gone underneath these seats from years of being beat down on, jumped up and down on, bounced on the roads of Mexico, I guess. Roads are not good there, I'm assuming. So we had that redone as well. So the seat set good. When I was sitting in it before, I was literally driving it like this. So now you can sit in it pretty normal, which is cool. Tires are on it, service is done, inspection is done. We did all the safety stuff. We replaced the broken glass. Depending on how long you've been following us, we've done a fair amount of stuff to this. We also had to source a steering box, which was a disaster um, because there is something slightly different, which would have been something we had to do also if we went four wheel drive conversion. Um, but this thing's turned out pretty cool. But I came over here and I didn't realize, as you'll see looking around the showroom, we've got a pretty good example of everything in here right now. We're damn near out of square bodies. We got a couple in the works. We got a couple we're working on. I just picked up two cherry mint suburbans um, one of which i'm going to pretty much do my own thing to and put it up huge and it's going to be kind of a family ride but like anything it'll be for sale but it's going to be a monster so stay tuned for that it's a grandpa stock got it from a 70 year old man yesterday uh, the grand wagoneer which we finished up for a customer for a build and he's traded it in for a boat um, so this thing's up and available and really sweet then the old baby bronco and then the C1 Corvette. So no matter what you're into, you know, you got your Ford guys, you got your Jeep guys, the Grand Wagoneers have a following all their own. I uh, did do a video on this earlier. Tons of custom touches. So right here, all this trim has been replaced. We did the lift kit wheels and tires, and then we actually had these wheels custom built. Not too big of a deal. We didn't build the wheel, we had them built, but we did powder coat them. And then when Brian Daniel went to put them on, one of the big things was these baby moons to make them look cool. Well, guess what? They don't make baby moons with a four wheel drive hub hole in them. So we had to put that on the lathe and turn it down. Turned out slick as heck. I mean, it's such a tight fitment, you can't even tell. And then we converted it to locking hubs, which was really nice also. 33s, four inches, all new springs, bushings, shocks, sway bars. They even made a custom track bar bracket on it. So that thing is sweet. The guy loved it. It's just he didn't have room for everything. So he wanted to put the boat in his garage and this couldn't stay. C1 Corvette. That's been a great car. We've had it around for a little while. It was actually up on the triple stack racks and uh, kind of got forgotten about. We had a customer call, loved it, got him all the pictures and videos and that thing's getting ready to ship out. I think it's headed to Ohio, if I remember correctly. Um, and we've just been dropping some decent little content here and there. The Sherp. 7.3, this square body we did a video on, and then uh, we just did a video with the SSR, so if you haven't seen that yet, most people, even Christian behind the camera, didn't realize these are convertibles. 
That's a power push button convertible top on these. So literally does all the work for you and you get the best of a pickup truck and a convertible and a semi sports car, whatever you want to call it all in one. So hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. Just really wanted to bring you something on this uh, five door quote unquote Ford Bronco excursion, whatever you want to call it. And uh, if you're interested up for sale, if you're not, we're going to make it to where you're going to drool about it. Just like that one that everybody thought was kind of homely and ugly at one time. It darn sure is not anymore. So thank you guys. I appreciate the support. The buildings come together. You can see our signs in the background. You can see our octagon lighting's finally in. Uh, we've been working hard over here to get this to be a really clean, uninterrupted spot to do videos. Across the street, I cannot get away from the phone, a customer, somebody stopping in. We literally had to lock the door the other day just for us to finish a five minute video because people stopping in, needing to talk, having questions, which is what we're here for. But we want to be able to bring you guys this content and that was one of the purposes of this building. So glad it's finished. Stay tuned, keep watching, keep subscribing.